now i know and i i know how you guys feel about this right i've run this segment into the ground i've done this over and over again you're all sick of it you're all tired of it you know it's been going for on it's been going on for at least six months every day i just can't go a single episode without bringing this up and you're you're all tired you're all done However, I have to bring it up again. There have been some revelations. I've, I, of course, am talking about Wolf Tone. I know what you're thinking, Josh. I, uh, I have, I've heard you talk about Wolf Tone every single stream for half a year at least. And I know every detail about Wolf Tone. I know exactly who he is. I know, <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. Um... Oh, wait, you guys, <laughs> the USD segment. <laughs> Who? What? Wolf Tone. This guy, I've, I've talked about him so much. Don't you guys know? Oh, you don't know. Okay. Well, let me, for those of you who are new to the chat, who've never watched my streams for, <laughs> before and who have no idea who Wolf Tone is, uh, let me give you a crash course uh, in his own words. I mean, he created this situation. He is me. He talked about me for six months, not ever missing a month on his podcast. More recently, almost every single week, he told people it was fun to fuck with me. And instead of going, well, maybe this a logging has gone a bit too far, given the fact he's a dedicated and sage member of the site. He just let it faster. I had told him about Maskell calling me a pedophile for years and I ever before I doxed myself and he said nothing. As you saw, he called Noel a pedophile too and I only assume he's some kind of whale based on him bragging about making $50 an hour on his do-nothing job. This is all his fault. And if his memory is too shit to realize that, he will never be anything but a tyrant, lashing out at his closest allies as he forgets what he himself has done to deserve such consequences. If his memory is as shit as I worry it is, he might legitimately have some form of early onset dementia and should change up his diet and lifestyle, exercising more and playing brain games so that he can train his neuroelasticity upwards. This is Wolf Tone. I've never spoken by him on stream before. I've gotten some super chats and I mentioned him offhandedly as having a conviction for throwing a jug of piss at somebody, which is not a fucking made up thing that's actually happened. But let's continue. Uh, he attached a song there. I will not be playing that. This um, is my boy. Uh, I just want to put this out there right now. Wolf Tone, I have a copy of your face. I am uploading it to my facial recognition software for my surveillance system. If for whatever reason I ever get docs, it knows what you look like. I will be sent a text message if you step on my property and I will shoot to kill you. I'm just letting you know now you're never allowed to interact with me. Don't do it. Um, he was booked because I'll save that. I'll save that. I'll save that. Um, <clears throat> here's another fun story about um uh, me this is about me okay he says i'm fucked up right now i'm fucked up about it right now but i'll but i'll but it'll pass he me legit been listening to me over the last year and a half for better and for worse and mostly better I've been helping his views become less fucking insane by slowly and deliberately speaking in a certain way consistently, sacrificing my time, earning his trust, and going to the ends of the fucking world for him. And it all goes to shit because of this small group of predators, these nasty ass fucks who just sit around and watch movies with their spare time. The old culture of this site is nothing like what the Discord does. What people like Mass Skull and Just a Butt do is learn what's most effective, most effective from the trannies and reverse engineer that into weapons to take down everything that doesn't bend the knee to them. I can't believe Null was actually stupid enough to let those faggots have their way when it will never be enough. I'm just 
fucking done with caring about what Noel does. If the site dies, it dies. For God's sakes, he doesn't even notice them using the same insults on me that have been used on him repeatedly in the past. And I'm not talking about Dino, whatever faggot culture that was arising from Mocking Kangle. I'm talking about people attributing his circumcision pain with me when I have done nothing. Say none. All right. When I have none saying I'm his height, calling me a pedophile, etc. Sick of it. Can't even defend himself, let alone the people who go to bat for him. I have never in my life carried a direct conversation with Wolf Tone in any capacity. He sends me DMs telling me he's willing to give up his entire life to move to Wyoming to be my registered agent. And I tell him, no, I am not interested in your fucking help. Leave me alone. And he just keeps insisting. I don't know him. I'm not his friend. I don't talk to him i don't want to know him i never want to be friends with wolf tone okay just in, in the plainest fucking english ever i do not take advice from him um i wonder if i have uh, i think that i might have the screenshot but i'll uh, bring it up later if i don't um this i found this he has a, a a criminal history which i will read um in this one, he is pulled over in July 2013 and arrested for marijuana charges. So I'll read this. This is the police officer writing. On the above time and date, I initiated a traffic stop on a gray Ford sedan bearing Florida tag at the corner of Whaley Road and McGruder Road for running a stop sign. The vehicle came at a final stop on the North Tropical Trail, McGruder Road. I made contact with the driver of the vehicle who identified himself as Mr. Zachary Madden. Also inside the passenger seat of the vehicle is a white male who identified himself as Mr. Nathaniel Matthews. Mr. Madden was just issued a written warning for running a stop sign at the corner of Magruder Road and Whaley Road. I asked Mr. Madden if he had anything illegal on his person if I could search him. Mr. Madden said I could search his person. A search of Mr. Madden's person led to a clear plastic baggie of green leafy substance inside of Mr. Madden's wallet. I knew based on my training experience that the green leafy substance looked and smelled like cannabis. A field test, the green leafy substance, tested positive for the presence of THC. Mr. Madden's was arrested and placed into the rear of my patrol vehicle. Next, I walked over to Mr. Matthews, who is Wolf Tone, in case you're wondering, and asked him if he had anything legal on his person. Mr. Matthews lowered his head and said yes to me. I asked Mr. Matthews to hand me the cannabis inside of his pocket, and he did. Mr. Matthews handed me a clear plastic bag containing a green leafy substance inside. The green leafy substance looked and smelled like cannabis. The green leafy substance has a positive for the presence of Mr. THC. Mr. Matthews was arrested. So, my bull Wolfson got, got pulled over at a stop sign. Officer Doohickey or whatever the fuck says to the driver who's on him, do you have any illegal substance on you? He says, yes, I do. I desire to be arrested. Here you go. Here's the evidence they did not have before me. Um, please arrest me. Cop arrest him and then goes over to Wolf Tone and says, do you also want to go to jail? And he says, yes, officer. As a matter of fact, I do. Here you go. Here's the evidence to arrest me. And he was arrested for it. And this began his <laughs> prolific career as a, as a criminal. Uh, congratulations. <clears throat> Now, this is his latest offense, one that he has been convicted of and is going to face jail time. Wolf Tone is going away for a year, which is why I found it now is the correct time to actually speak about him on stream directly. Uh, I don't have to deal with him for at least eight months. Uh, so let's read this. This is a much more interesting story. Uh, Dr. David Matthews, the victim, arrived... Hmm... Dr. David Matthews and his name is also Matthews. Hmm. Oh, that's his father. So keep in mind, victim is his father. Defendant is Wolf Tone. Dr. Mr. Sorry, I keep saying doctor. Mr. David Matthews, the victim, arrived at the Brevard County Sheriff's Office, East Pringsey, to report battery. The victim stated the following in substance during a sworn audio statement. He was sitting in his chair this morning when his son, Mr. Nathaniel Matthews, arrestee and defendant, approached him and began to yell at him. During the verbal abuse, the defendant grabbed the victim by the throat and his hands encircled around the victim's neck. The victim believed that he was going to be choked out. 
the defendant knowingly and intentionally against the will of the victim impeded the normal breathing of the victim. The victim then pushed the defendant off of him using his legs. The defendant then hit the victim on his abdomen, chest, and head with an open and closed fist several times. The victim cannot recall the total number of hits. I observed the victim's person and saw the injuries that were consistent with his statement. The defendant paused and the victim took the opportunity to run to his bedroom down the hallway. At some point during the physical altercation, the defendant took the victim's cell phone to prevent him from dialing 911. The victim attempted to close his bedroom door. However, the defendant caught the door and forced his way through by placing his arm in the threshold. The defendant then knowingly and intentionally grabbed the victim by his shoulders and shook the victim. The victim was pushed up against the wall and hit the top left of his shoulder on the wall. The defendant shook the victim and tried to grab the car keys from the victim's belt loop on his pants. The defendant was unable to grab the keys and walked into the hallway. He told the victim that the victim was not free to leave and that he would endure, quote, endure his torture, end quote, until the defendant was done. The victim believed that he would be unable to leave his residence and was therefore in fear um, that he would have to take any action. The cop fucked up the sentence, but I think he's trying to say that the defendant would have to take any possible action to leave the residence. The victim walked into the hallway several times from his bedroom to see the defendant was still blocking the hallway. At one point, the victim was able to walk down the hallway and go to his vehicle. So this is what he was charged with, which I, he's guilty of and is going to jail for. Um, so here's, a, here's the backstory on him in brief. Remember, I, I have desperately tried not to pay attention to this and I may have to have been absolutely everyone involved. So those of you in the little discord right now, laughing that I'm talking about wolf tone, as has been your intention for at least two years at this point, know that I have your fucking names. I will ban you if you annoy me. And at first, I was sympathetic to Wolftone, and this was my first mistake. I uh, I took pity on him, because there is a user named Maskell who's a bit of an asshole, and who has been calling him, from what I understand, without any evidence whatsoever, a pedophile for two years, to the point where it, it caught on as a meme, and I really had to tell people, stop doing this. You have no reason to say that he's a pedophile. It's not funny. I understand that he's, like, weird, but you really cannot do this. I don't appreciate it. Um, And that almost kind of worked at least for a while uh his issue was that he continued he insisted on interacting with this group of people who were fucking with him um there is a private conversation between wolf tone and a bunch of other people on the forum that is now 300 pages long and it has been going on for months and months and months and despite everyone reasonable telling him please stop fucking replying to the people fucking with you he does not and eventually he doxes himself because he's talking to a user named Splugies. uh here is a message i guess between them where wolfton says you're a very strong girl thank but you, you golden black back jack for the prime thank you when you're you're a very strong girl but you don't know my path because my strength is of a different type and that's okay Splugies then mocks him with the uh, very cool emoji that we have of Tommy Wazoo leaning backwards, laughing and saying, what a story, Mark. Wolftone replies saying, I guess this really did turn into something beautiful, huh? Glad I could help. Um, now, he has never seen Splugies ever. There are no pictures of her. And he says this. But I thought Splugies was cute. I didn't make her post a selfie. I didn't make her talk about herself and how she's blonde and Celtic. I didn't make her be fiery and feisty and cute and charming. He's never seen her. She makes fun of him. She ridicules him openly on the internet. And he responds by posting creepy ass messages like this. I mean, it's, it's just truly bizarre. She's Welsh. He doxed himself to a Welsh woman who was openly ridiculing him simply because she was a woman in his head because she's Welsh. She must be some sort of like Viking child, beautiful blonde Aryan stereotype woman. So really fucking bizarre. And then at some point when I finally got it through to him that I am not his friend and I really, really, really do not want to be friends with him. He posted this. 
I don't care. Kiwi Farms in 2023 is a dead gay nigger site, and all he cares about is shekels. Wait, wait, hold up. Twenty twenty two was a golden year. Yeah, the golden year when the site went offline because of a f because of fucking trannies. That was a golden year. I remember that year. I was having so much fun in twenty twenty two. Let me tell you about it. Twenty twenty two was a golden year. Recently, he has ignored all logic. I have no faith he has anything he can do to dig him out of the hole he dug for himself over a decade of being a fat antisocial homosexual status that's i didn't think to be like oh this is a hot potato i might be worse off for rolling the dice here but it's for the best it's another thing entirely to go so not reddit is for nazis run by a man who admittedly watching shotokan hentai and wanting to cut a woman to little pieces and rape her until she shits herself and leave her to starve like the sort of stuff that happens here has been happening in facebook groups the entire time Twitter has moved towards a more free speech situation. We lift news articles from other websites. Almost everything that's documented is given freely, and next to none of it is actually hunted for. I hope Noel's saving because he's been listening to people who fucking hate him and don't give a shit about this website, and I'm done caring if I stay or go. We are the website. Without us, there's nothing here, and I'm done stressing about him and his long-term success. He can either let people speak freely, or he can fuck back off to his fucking hovel and have Shrannies hunt him down like the stuck pig because he's too pussy to just shoot them when they come to his house with a knife like Greta and Nina did. Um, I don't know what he's trying to say here, except that he was the linchpin holding the entire project together. Without his support, there is no way that the Kiwi Farms can continue on. Uh, he Here's an example. This is not a joke. This is an example of something that he attributes to himself as being enlightening information that he gave me that I took from him, and therefore I owe him. Um, he says that in chat he was talking about beer, and since I, of course, am not much of a drinker then surely i don't have an informed opinion about beer he says that yingling is a good brand of beer oh and yet now Noel says that yingling is a good alternative to bud light if you're trying to avoid anheuser busch <laughs> oh oh he took my advice he took my advice he listens to what i say because i have many great thoughtful things to tell no and now he owes me because we're friends because he said that yingling was a good beer that i agreed on and gave him the information of i have been drinking yingling at least i did when i was in the u.s since at least 2016 because the ceo of yingling came out in support of donald trump and it caused a huge media circus over um over the endorsement that's not like a secret that that's that's why I uh, tried Yingling was because of that. And he attributes this solely to himself for no reason other than the fact that he at some point mentioned Yingling. Uh, there is, I mean, the, the term parasocial is thrown around a lot, but he actively calls me his little brother. He thinks that we have deep seated direct conversations. He insists that the things I say that he agrees with came from me paying attention to him and studying from him. And it's just the most bizarre thing. He's a fucking loser who chokes out his own father. He literally saves his own piss and dilutes it with water and then uses that to water his, his grass, his yard, because he insists that the nitrogen fixation in urine is good for the, 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 uh, the grass. And then he caught a charge because he took one of these diluted piss bottles he uses to wash his, his, his yard with and threw them at someone that he was having a, a conflict with. And he thinks that I, I have to take his advice on how to run the site. I have to ban people making fun of him that he does absolutely nothing to distance himself from at all that he can't that he can't stop doxing himself to because one of them just so happens to be a woman that in his head is like an attractive woman. And he even said this, he has told people repeatedly that he is a co-developer with me in secret on the forum rewrite that I haven't touched in months now because I've been too busy. He says that he 
and I work on this together. And in fact, he has learned the C programming language to work on Sneedfora with me. Sneedfora was written in Rust. It's not written in C. And then at a later point, I talked about a side project, a, a DDoS mitigation extension for Nginx. Nginx extensions are written in C. So I said I'd probably be writing some of it in C to uh, make it compatible with Nginx instead of using Rust to write a module um, that currently works with HAProxy. Well, of course, me saying this means, aha, aha. Null saw that I was learning C, and now he thinks that C is a great language to use too. And that's why he wants to use that for his Nginx module. Ha, 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 ha. Ooh, ooh. Another big win for the wolf tone. <laughs> It's like, not everything's a sign. I've deliberately tried to avoid you for the entire time that you posted on the site. I don't understand um, th this, like, unwarranted sense of self-importance. I really don't fucking get it. Uh, and I really hope, I, I, I mean, I never know what to expect when I have to, like, finally loudly tell people. Like, no, really, I'm not secretly referencing, referencing you in my streams. When someone soup pays me $5 to talk about your piss jug, I'm not doing that because I'm enamored with you or obsessed with you or trying to help you or hurt you in any way, shape or form. It's like, I really don't know who the fuck you are. And I'm very happy to have it that way. And so I don't know. Good luck in jail, buddy. I, I am looking forward to eight months of not hearing about you, but I'm pretty sure that they're going to write you in jail and uh, I'll still have to see your fucking prison letters like Chris Chan. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's all that I have to say about Wolf Tone. Oh, it's not actually. It's not. Oh, I can't believe I didn't put these up on the... Um, I wonder if Firefox just didn't... Download them correctly. Give me a second here. I may have to ask someone for help. Okay, hold up. I'm going to beg the Telegram chat for help real quick because there, there's something I want to show you. Okay. They better have this. I don't know how I lost this. I definitely had it pulled up on um on the stream so that I could talk about it. And I've somehow lost it. But it, maybe I have the weapon saved or the gif. I look like a fool. I look like a damn fool. So they aha! Aha, Comp, the Polish man, has given me the YouTube channel. All right. This is him. You ready? He's doing some... Oh, you fucker. Did he just delete these all? Oh, no. They just weren't there. Okay, fine. So here he is. In... Oh, wait. No, that's the wrong shirt. I want to show you this one. Here he is. An official Kiwi Farms merchandise. And he's about to show y'all how to use uh, a blade. This is Amateur Lado 6. Oh, wait, you can't see anything. Oh, yes, you can. Damn, that swipe, that could decapitate your dad for sure. The footwork. Try to run into the bedroom, cut your arm off. I'm gonna start your car when I've cut your belt with my blade. Precisely, so now it's not to, not to penetrate the flesh. While you were doing prison reps, I was studying the blade. Okay, there's more. Hold up. I, I actually really enjoyed it. Oh, he's shirtless in this one. He lost his shirt. Let's see this. This is late. Amateur Lado 8. He's getting faster, boys. I can see this. You can shave the, the arm off your hair from a mile away. 
before you even had time to fucking react to it. He throws the piss bottle up. He cuts it in half. Perfectly executed. It sprays into your face. The garden is watered. Flowers are blossoming. And you are disgraced. Jarati, he says. As you run away. To hide from the onslaught of attacks. Damn, that's good. All right, here's one more. He's got his Kiwi Farm shirt on, so I want to I wanna see this one, too. I got to rep... Oh, wait. I want to rep the merchandise. Did he delete this? Between right then... Oh, wait, there it is. Okay, good. Oh, new music. Oh, this is intense. He synced it up with the music, too. Get that, get that pulse going. Choreographed. Practice. Honed. Over dozens of minutes. The lighting is perfect too. Look at that. Look, that's that's called Kino. That's called Kino when there's that overhead lighting and it casts him in like a perfect downward shadow. Look at the halo, like Jesus Christ around his hair. Stunning. If I was Spoogies, I'd watch the fuck out. The Welsh don't have shit on 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 the, the Lado like this. He's gonna come out of jail stronger, harder, faster, and more dangerous than ever before. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CSA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.